For example, when the new money says so, Roland, if the speaker calls back parliament and the NDC MPs also decide not to mass up their numbers on the side, how can decisions then be taken, knowing that they didn't negotiate with them, etc.? I mean, that is the another leg to this whole thing. Supreme Court. Should that be a concern? Uh, it should be a concern, yeah, especially if you are not building consensus. Parliament work or parliamentary work works more harmoniously in a consensus environment. You don't uh, tell the Supreme Court cannot order Parliament to behave in a certain way. Yes, I believe that the Speaker has to obey the, the orders of the court. But at the end, the, in terms of how Parliament itself will behave going forward, that one cannot be regulated by the Supreme Court. So what would you have achieved? But I see, Roland, it still come back. I listened to the argument put forward by uh, Goffred Dame. And then as for Jogati, there was not no much from him. Anytime he, he got up to speak, they asked him to uh, sit down and something of that sort. But if their argument is anything to go by, then we have a serious problem ahead of us. But let me say the decision of this Supreme Court advantages Mr. Alan Chamati. Like we are so happy. It's so a, a victory for Mr. Alan Chamati's presidency. How does and it? let me tell you, if this decision had come earlier, we would have had a lot of MPP, MPs who would boldly be coming out supporting Mr. Alan Chamati because <laughs> why were they afraid to support Mr. Alan Chamati's uh, independent candidature? The fear of their seats being declared vacant. Now, that is why a lot told of you that. They, told, uh, they told us in confidence we have more than half of the MPs of the, uh, of the new patriotic side supporting Mr. Alan, Alan Chamati secretly. But for the fear of their seat being declared vacant, that is why they are siding with the MPP side. We call them butterfant, butterfly elephant. That is what they are. They are there silently working for us. And so why can't we be happy? One of the arguments that have been put forward, especially by our, people, our friends from the MPP, is that when Mr. Alajanate becomes the president, he will not have MPs to appoint as ministers of state. Is that not the case? And so, with this decision, all that my beautiful MPs from the MPP side and the ND side would do is that when Mr. Alan Jamati becomes president and appoints you or nominates you as a minister, you just cross carpet and say you are going as an independent candidate. Nobody in that parliament can declare your seat vacant. You remain a minister to the lifetime of this parliament. Is it not beautiful for Mr. Alan Jamati? But what would we have done to ourselves? Would this decision stand the test of time? Ask yourself. Because this same MPP, Godfrey Dami in 2020, was a member of the MPP. Isn't that the case? He was the Deputy Attorney General. Now, the decision to declare that seat vacant emanated from the new patriotic party. The General Secretary of that party, John Buedu, was the one that sent the petition to Parliament. And by so the means he had consulted everyone that mattered, including all the lawyers that he was talking about. The Yellians, the Oxfordians, the, the Nottinghamians, uh, where, how, what have you? Where the you went to school? The Cam Cambridges. The Cambridges. They were all there. <laughs> and they wrote beautifully to the Speaker of Parliament. Aaron Michael Quay, mind you, he is also a Reverend Minister and a professor who understands the constitution of the land clearly. And by so doing, they declare this uh, 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 formula seat vacant. What are we being told now? The same people, <clears throat> they are saying, no, we add. So, first of all, before you even moved to the Supreme Court, you should have apologized to the people of this country. Mm -hmm. There is no apology. And you want us to take you serious? Well, they say this is law. Which one is law? So the law works yesterday, and when they feel that, oh, it suits us today, let's go and change it. How can we behave in this country <laughs> like that? Look, just last, last year, on the 20th of November, 2023, listen to the General Secretary of the MPP speaking. He wrote an official press release, and with your permission, I read. This is November 2023. Fourth feature of membership pursuant to the provision of Article 391 of the New Patriotic Party Constitution. The leadership of the New Patriotic Party has taken notice of recent activities of Hobson Adoye, Yabu Abiyan Samuan, Nano Hininto, and Boniface Abubakar Sadiq, which includes publicly uh, endorsing the candidate of a person other than the, the, the duly elected presidential candidate of the party, His Excellency, I won't mention the name for, uh, 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 to, to give him free advert. In spite of their flagrant breach of the party's constitution, particular Article 35A4 and 391, the aforementioned name, uh, name men still hold themselves out as members of the MPP. 
for the avoidance of doubt, Article 35A4 of the MPP Constitution enjoins all members of the party to abide by and publicly uphold the decision of the party. In addition, Article 391 of the Constitution provides as follows. A member of the party who stands as an independent candidate against the officially elected member of the party or who joins or declares his or her support for another political party or for an independent candidate when the party has sponsored the candidate in a general or by election automatically. Is it the same letter been... that even affected the tsunami hit all of you? Oh, it hit me as a sister, innocent man. <laughs> they decided, in spite of my investment in this party from 1992. With a stroke of pen, Justin Kodia, I was in this party before him. He quickly, see the way he signed, took me out of the party. And I embraced it. But this is law. Wholehearted. A law. A law is speaking. Now, the same people, in spite of this, goes to the Supreme Court and say, this law is void. Have you heard anyone going to the Supreme Court to say that, to the extent of this provision, the NPP straight nine is, is null and void? It's not consistent with the provisions in the Constitution? We are not being told that that's why the last time this matter was discussed, I told you that the new patriotic party do not respect anybody in this country. Yeah. How? How can you say that? This is a total... They don't respect anybody? They don't respect you. Look, take it from me. They do it as and when. They feel that they control the judiciary of the state and that whatever they want to happen is what will happen. Either than that, just four years ago, with the same lawyers, with their beautiful argument, with their argument, told us that this was the position. Now they go back and tell us. We don't even know the reason that the Supreme Court gave. All that they told us was that the it is will unconstitutional. And that the seat, the speaker did not have the, the, the power to declare those seats vacant. In spite of the fact that there is a precedent. Four years ago, that speaker Michael Quay. So all that I'm saying is that it's beautiful for Mr. Lanchamantin. We are very happy. We are now waving our white handkerchiefs and we are admonishing all the MPP MPs who have been hiding under the pretext of fear that their seat would have been declared vacant to begin to come out and show their love to Mr. Lanchamantin. I can assure him that we have more than half of the MPs who willingly support us. How do you think we have survived to date? Have you have, Ah, that means they are with us. They are the ones leading our campaign in the various constituencies. They are doing campaigns, cut and blouse. Vote for Alan and vote for them. Because without them adding Alan to their skin, to their ticket, who is going to look at Mr. Uh, uh, Dr. Baumier's face and vote for them? With this abysmal you performance. You mean in the strongholds? The strongholds. Asante region is for the movement, and the movement is Asante region. I see. Eastern region is for the movement, and movement is the Eastern region. Dr. Santiotri, you 